hello there everybody welcome back to my channel to another video if you're new here welcome my name is Fran of Fantastic Pins and today we're organizing pins so I have filmed a couple of pin mail Monday videos recently and I thought that it just made sense to finally do an organizing pins video this was something I plan to do every couple of months so here to my left I have the stack of pins that have been sitting in a little cubby drawer waiting to go back to their home um, and I do have them on a Kraken board I have some on backer cards I have a jumbo in this box and then in this bin I have mostly Jacobs pins and then I've thrown a few pins in there as well so we're gonna organize that to my right I have um, my backer card storage solution here so you'll see a little bit of that as I go through my organizing process here I have my ziplocs of Mickey backs so I have one huge bag full of Mickey backs and then I do have a separate ziploc for fantasy pin backs and circle backs that aren't shaped like Mickey heads and then I do have this empty bin here um, to kind of be there for pins that I might be sifting through my collection so as I go through pins um, and putting them into the books I'm also going to be looking at pins that I want to take out of the books and then those pins will go in this bin over here so those pins that I sift through will be up for trade but most of them will be at our next live sale at the end of June so all the pins for today are gonna go into crack and trade pin books that's is how I store and collect my pins we do live in an apartment so I like having the pins put away that I can enjoy occasionally but before we start going through the books step one in my organizing video is taking all of the pins that I have and then separating them by category or collection so however I organize my pin books that's how I'm gonna um, do that so after step one, step two is to put it into the books and now we're going to dive into that time lapse. we are back as you can see step one is done and here I have our newly founded Zootopia collection if you didn't see that video I'll link it up above great unboxing um, some Star Wars some Marvel I also have some Marvel up here here I have a very few Pixar pins this is kind of like Mickey mini parks type things I don't know what to do with that yet um, we'll see I have a little Winnie the Pooh collection which is also very new and then princesses are all up here I'll just pick as I go through each book I've got cats and Figaro well Figaro is a cat <laughs> Robin Hood um, most of Jacob stuff which is also in that bin up to the left got some Hercules got a Raya pin and some Lion King as well so now that step one is done, we're going to go ahead and just go book by book and start to fill out these pin books. <laughs> So I just want to show you the finished product of the Zootopia page. I realized with this film strip because it's clear right there, it doesn't really look good on the black foam so I left it on its backer card. I think having the jumbo on this page is very helpful as well because it does take up a lot of space which means there's less room for me to purchase and trade like crazy 
um, but I did share this book with Hercules and Raya. I think um, I don't want to go too crazy on those other movies that I like, so maybe we'll put Winnie the Pooh somewhere in this book as well, and that'll just be kind of the miscellaneous non-classic um, princess collection. So I'll leave that book up there, and now I'm moving on to Minnie Mouse and Friends. I am feeling very some type of way about this main attraction collection. I don't know if I'm going to keep it for a while. I might just get rid of the attraction pins because I love Minnie and the ears, but I don't know. We'll see where what happens there. Um, and then I do have my miscellaneous mini pins and then the cat pins here. So without further ado, let's just add these pins to the collection. One thing I noticed as well is that I did have to start organizing backer cards. So you'll see that my system is that I put a post-it note on the backer card describing the pin it belongs to and then we'll organize them in the bin later on. All right, so now this is the finished product for Aristocats. We've got a pretty good little curation here if you ask me. Lots of room for more cats. And then I think with this mini page here, I'm gonna go ahead and grab these hidden Mickeys that I put in my Mickey and Parks stack. And I'm gonna put these mini pins here in this corner because I feel like it goes with the pink and purple color palette. Um, I do love Minnie Mouse. I just am conflicted as to whether or not I want like a huge collection of Minnie, but I guess we'll cross that bridge when I don't have any more space for her and if I really want to keep her. But that will be it for the Minnie Mouse and Cats collection. So this book is done for now. And now I'm going to time lapse you through the Mickey, Mickey Parks, Mickey and Minnie, Hidden Mickey. <laughs> Book, and this is in the Kraken Trade Elite, which is bigger, so I do have four pages in this book. And then now I'm going to go back into this Hercules slash miscellaneous book and add in the poo pins. And now we're moving on to the Kraken dividers that I have. I do slow down here to show you that I wasn't sure if I was going to keep the Runaway Railway set, but I realized that with these two pins here, I had just enough slots to fit the whole train set. So I'm going to go ahead and keep these for a while because I have seen the values of them going up. Thanks to Kraken for updating their dividers, the slots are a little wider so the pins do fit. They do protrude out in the plastic a little so I know that's going to make a nice little impression on the plastic but it's okay. These dividers are super affordable and it's going to be a great way for me to store those pins. And now I'm going to move over to Jacob's Pin Books, which has been such a project for me. I've procrastinated it. I've been wanting Jacob to do it himself, but I figured since he has collected so many pins, I might as well do it for him so he can see what he has before we go back to Disneyland again in June. So he does have a Shark Tank and a Meg. I'm going to go ahead and take the pins in these dividers out and I've got an extra Kraken page so we're going to start putting pins on pages and then organizing the back of cards. So we have the shark tank done. I decided to put Robin Hood at the front because we do have the marquee and some pretty fun pins to show off. Behind Robin Hood is kind of the miscellaneous characters that Jacob loves. So we got Kingdom Hearts, Cheshire, Olaf, and then random other characters. On the next page, I did a shared page with Emperor's New Groove and the Muppets. So there is room for Jacob to continue collecting a little bit without going crazy with a full back page to expand if there were other collections. And then I wasn't sure what to do with Lion King because Jacob pulled out a lot of his Lion King pins for his Kraken Hydra backpack. So instead of putting the pins back and forth, I decided to just use the space that we had left to add in the rest of the Lion King pins. So that's what we're doing here. 
And then obviously the next one we move on to is the Avengers and Star Wars books. So I'm going to go ahead and let this time lapse and we can talk about it after. y'all so obviously I lost a little bit of steam towards the end of this um, I did leave some Star Wars pins on backer cards here but as you can see Star Wars is taking up two pages now and then Avengers for now is taking one page um, I did get the marquee I got the WDI emblem slash logo sets now I have to um, put those two stragglers back in their pins but before we get into the final time lapse of the video, my final step after organizing pins is to organize the backer cards. And so as you can see here, I've been stacking them by category to the best of my knowledge. And similar to my last video, this is how I organize my backer cards in Ziploc bags labeled by category and it's in alphabetical order. So the system has just worked for me. I really love it. So I think I'm just going to stick with it until it doesn't work for me anymore. Um, so thanks so much for joining this video. Let me know in a comment down below what you thought, how you organize your pins, and I hope to see you at the next video. Have a fantastic day.